welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today is the second week of challenges in July, cells. So I want to see what you guys can create with cells in your art pieces. I created a really cool table that I am going to walk you through the process of, of course, but if you still don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to the Abstract Boss competitions, every month there is a winner. So don't forget to click the link and go to the Facebook group. So let's get started. Today I'm using the counterculture DIY resin. I already have it mixed together. And I have a super cute end table that I got from Ross. And I have the white painter's tape all around the edges. It gives the best seal. I do not recommend the blue painter's tape. The resin always leaks through for me. I have not had it create a really good seal. So white painter's tape, you can just get it from Home Depot or Lowe's or something. Now the colors I'm working with, I have the rose gold from Colorberry, the white from Colorberry, and then I have the peach gold from Maspring. I think those are all the right names. You guys, I'm on vacation, so honestly, I have no idea because I can't go and look at them in my garage right now. But all of these worked so well together. They turned out really beautiful, and I can't wait to walk you through the process. So I am just mixing up a little bit of each of these colors and my base color is actually going to be a, the black pigment paste from Countertop Epoxy. Now, I love this black pigment paste. It is super pretty, super smooth. I like that when I move some of the other pigments across it that I do still get some effects without adding too much alcohol. So I think it's a really fantastic pigment paste to work with. So I just lay down a nice layer of that and I'm gonna spread that out. I use my gloves just because trying to spread on a circle uh, with a popsicle stick was not easy. <laughs> Okay, now that that's done, I just do a really quick one over with my heat gun to pop the bubbles. And really, you do not have to do that. You can wait and do some of your art and then pop the bubbles. I was just honestly being a little meticulous and wanted all the bu bubbles gone. <laughs> but I've learned a lot more about specific furniture resin and countertop resin. And I really do find a benefit of popping the bubbles afterwards because those air bubbles actually create some really cool effects through the pigments that you put on there. So just wanted to add that in there in case you guys were already torching yours just like I did here. I think that it's actually better to wait until after you do some of your art because then those air bubbles will move up and it creates those effects. If you don't want the effects, then obviously go ahead and torch it. Um, but it does also speed up the curing process. So that is another thing that you have to contend with. After I poured them out, I just laid out my colors in whatever fashion and now I'm just moving them around to kind of cover as much of the black as possible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more lines in just until I'm content with the negative space that's poking through all of my colors. I thought there was a little bit too much white so I wanted to kind of dull that down with that rose gold and the metallics from there just sort of peekaboo right up through the resin so it's really pretty. I love it, I thought it looked fantastic and that's kind of what I was working with. After I was done moving it around, I sprayed it with some alcohol and I love this effect. Honestly, I really, really wish I would have stopped here. This is definitely one of my biggest problems. I'm a fidgeter and I think it is so beautiful right here. Oh, Ashley, why don't you just stop? But no, of course I have to fidget. So I went ahead and started adding some more lines and moving it around. And don't get me wrong, I totally love the project and the way that it turned out, but seeing it from this perspective as I am doing this voiceover, I really should have stopped. It was so beautiful, but still turned out fantastic. I just wanted more of that metallic pop popping through and I think that was kind of <laughs> what I had going on in my mind. All 
All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I decided to go ahead and take the tape off early because I had to leave and I didn't wanna let it sit on here for too long. And I also thought that the art was a little crowded. So taking it off early will allow the resin to drape over the edges. You wanna make sure that you do run your fingers around often to help that resin catch the entire edge. And if you wait until the resin is a lot more thick and gooey, you're gonna have a really nice covered edge without too much wasted resin on the side. Like I said, I thought this was a little too crowded, so I decided to go ahead and let the resin run over the side and also try to tilt just to kind of get that art moving a little bit more. All right, now I'm happy with this. I really kind of pulled back into my photography days to where I had like the rule of thirds. So I wanted the majority of the action to go on one third of the side, not throughout the center of the piece. So that's why I tilted. And here are some pictures of the finished product. Look at all those cells up close. They're fantastic. I cannot wait to see what you guys create for your cells project. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any more of the competition videos or even just some of my awesome tips, tricks, and tutorials that I have along the way. All right, I'll see you Friday everyone.